So let's do some calculations of exponents in a not necessarily prime modulus and take advantage of Euler's theorem, the generalization of Fermat's little theorem, and whatever else we need to. Uh, rules of exponents, um, and in the second part of this video, we'll do some uh, repeated squaring to do some complicated exponents. So we'll start out with 13 to the 24th mod 36. Okay, so 36, 36 is not prime, so you can't just directly use Fermat but we sh should hopefully be able to use Euler. First thing I would do in all these problems is calculate phi of 30, a phi of the mod, the, the totient function. So we probably just wanna use the general formula. So prime factorize 36 is two squared times three squared. And then the two squared factor gives us a one. Actually, let me write it out. It's a two minus one, the prime minus one times two to the two minus one. So here, I take that prime minus one times whatever the prime is to the power minus one. And then that's true for all the front prime factors. So then I'm gonna get a three minus one times uh, three to the two minus one. Okay, that's a really complicated way of saying one times two times two times three, so it's 12. Okay. Now the next question is, is 13 a reduced residue? If it's not, we really can't use Euler and we'd have to do something more complicated. But of course, uh, all we have to do is calculate the GCD. It's our favorite thing in the world of 13 and 36. That's pretty easy because by inspection, because 13 is prime and not a factor of 36. So they are relatively prime. So yes, okay. So Euler applies, which in this case is really good. I set it up to be good. 13 to the 24th, well, 13 to the 12th, what that says is that 13 to the 12th um, is just going to be uh, one. That's the, uh, the result of Euler's theorem, is that if I take a number to the phi function of the mod, then I'm gonna get one. Okay, so now, just a little bit of rules of exponents tells me 13 to the 24, is just that guy squared. And that's still one. So this is like the situation we had in Fermat, where there's this periodicity, there's this repetition. Now it's mod 12, because that's the key number that's um, controlling the exponents, the phi function. Okay, so the next one, 13 to the 25th mod 36, if you've already done 13 to the 24th, don't do it from scratch. 13 to the 25th is gonna be 13 to the 24th, times 13, and so we just get one times 13 is 13. Notice I'm dropping the bars and the triple equal signs. All these things are in mod 36, um, but just for to make it speedier, I'm not gonna write that, but these are all mod 36 calculations. What about 13 to the 26th? Okay, that's not quite as uh, simple. Sometimes you really have to do some actual arithmetic and can't just use the theorems to make everything simple, but we've already got 13 to the 25th, which is 13. Oh, and 13 to the 25th times, it's gonna be 13 to the 25th times, one more factor of 13. So it's 13 times 13, 169, and that is gonna reduce um, mod 36. Well, 36 times four is 144, and so subtract it off and you get 25. So it's a mix of ordinary arithmetic, uh, our standard process of reducing something mod a mod, uh, mod 36 in this case, and fancier theorems like Euler's. Okay, so one more in this vein, pretty similar. Let's just switch to a different mod, mod 216, not that different. Now it's two cubed times three cubed. Again, I'm gonna calculate the, the phi function of that um, as, our, as my first thing, and that's going to be the prime minus one, which is just one times the one less power of that prime, just two squared. Moving on to the next prime, the prime minus one is two. One less power of that prime is three squared, and I get eight times nine is 72. Okay, so now the phi function is a bit bigger. But once again, I have um, contrived it to be nice. 35 is 35 times seven, so it's definitely relatively prime to something that only has twos and threes in it. Euler's theorem applies. 35 to the 144 is just 35 to the 72 all squared, and that equals one. So in fact, 35 to, uh, well, I could do one more, like 35 to the 144, 000, 
immense number in terms of integers. Wow, calculating that out in all of its glory as an image would be ridiculous. But if you just want it mod 216, then it's just going to be one because it's just this is just a multiple of um, the fee function, and this is one of the reduced residues. Okay. Uh, in the next video, we'll do something where it requires a little bit more actual um, arithmetic and do the, the repeated squaring technique.